them shatter your jaw, step on their boots on your dog. Fuck them, cause they come home. Culture shock, future shock, fuck yourself, fuck yourself. All right, y'all. So I got an interesting one today. This is something. What the fuck? Get the fuck up like you're supposed to. This is something where it's, um, this is not Sebastian's individual. I'm going to start this first out because that's not what this is about. This is to demonstrate anybody can be a reader. Anybody can be connected to the divine. Anybody can take something. Like the like these pre made um the fuck, the screens and shit that I have for my bowl or whatever that I could use that for divination if I bend it and tweak it just slightly. Anybody can be connected to the divine, to the source, to what people call the Most High, which is like I'm not even sure if that's the same God. Uh, like that's starting to sound. I don't. I don't know why. But when people say the most high, it's starting to make me feel like you're talking about a whole idol, and I don't fucking like it. I'm just letting you know, I don't like it. Just call him, like, the Lord God Almighty if you're going to use it. But then again, you shouldn't be incorporating the Lord God Almighty in tools he already said in the book he don't fucking like. But, you know, that's just, that's, that's just me. Who am I to judge? I'm just a witch, after all, from a non-denominational church where people are crazy, but at least we don't shake snakes in our, in our sermons and shit. Praise the Lord. Anyway, uh, I found this person. They're in, they're interesting. I know that they are a Capricorn sun and a Cancer rising. And, it, and it's a very confusing scenario because it's like this is the first time I've ever listened to a Capricorn like complain about shit. But I wasn't as entirely offended as I would have been. But that's that Cancer shit protecting that motherfucker. She's also my type. So I know to stay the fuck away from her because like she's all big sads and I want to fix her. That's death. That's I, I, like I know better. I'm not getting sucked into that shit. If you have a tragic backstory, stay the fuck away from me. There's something wrong. <laughs> both of us can't have this kind of shit. Not both of us. I, like, I, I'm a happy-ass person, but, like, uh. Raise the cage! Anyway. We're gonna watch two videos first. The first one is... Uh, we're only watching the first ten minutes. The next one, we're gonna watch the entirety, because... Once I like I, I like the second one we're gonna watch. I saw it first, and I was like, "Why did YouTube show me this person? Let me go explore it." And I went exploring, and it was like, "Dear Christ Almighty, because it went back, and it was just like, you know what? Now this makes sense. This makes sense. However." This video is not to bash anybody because I don't want to bash nobody. I'm pointing out the facts. I'm pointing out that there are humans doing divine things. But we need to remember we are from the divine and of the divine. But we are not the divine. We're separated for a fucking reason. To have this experience. This human experience. We need to have it. We need to have all avenues. All venues. All of that. Because without, the, 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 without suffering, how do we know expression? Without sadness, what joy do we have? Even the Greeks understood comedy and tragedy go hand in hand. Without one or the other, what is life living for? You know? You hear me? Oh, thank God. I was so worried that this wasn't recording shit. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the corner. Let's put her in the spot. Light. Telling us of reality Cause I can't sing the song And it's okay Hey, hey, Anyway, this is Cosmic Mermaid Terror And let me tell you something I have found at least like five different channels With the name Mermaid in it They all got the same fucking look in their eye That's just like, I, like you're, you're trying to, to Like 
summon sailors into the Rhine River. Mm. Which is something that's starkly like noticeable that I just want to point out. There are my type of demographic of people, not exactly my demographic, but we look the same, right? Who claim that like Haitians and mermaids go hand in hand and it was wholly a black thing, right? But the Germans had mermaids too, which is where the Little Mermaid story came from. Which technically isn't even about like a little girl mermaid. It was like a, a, a metaphorical story about being gay. Like Ariel was actually Aaron. Like, just, just let everyone know. Ariel was actually Aaron. And that's why she, she like, chopped off her feet. Or she her her fins to be feet. She lost her voice. Hardly the ability to walk. It was excruciating pain trying to live in this world like normal people. Before she, you know, realized I'd rather dissolve into sea salt. Or whatever fuck. Sea brine or, I don't know. Dissolve into something with salt. Some, it's something sauce. It, it, she became something sauce. Because, like, she didn't have the heart to kill her lover or her lover's lover or something like that. But they weren't even in love to begin with. And it was just like, mm. Rather take their own life than live without them. Utter tragedy of back in the day. But, yeah, it was actually an allegory for homosexuality. And, like, the desire for someone you know you'll never be able to have, right? That's a little movie. But, like, I don't think people realize that. And I don't think people know the actual, like, history behind the story or maybe it's all made up i don't know because i saw it on a youtube short so i could be full of shit too because i got it from someone else full of shit so let's take it with a grain of salt so i could be wrong but i thought it actually made a little bit of sense but i could be wrong and plus i love the little mermaid that was my shit that's why i'm kind of having my hair is this color because this is like oh i got hair, real hair the little mermaid was black with red uh, well i don't know I don't, like Haley barely like she didn't really have like black like red hair she had more like orangey hair i got red hair i am not your redhead anyway i'll stop but yeah i've seen like so many like different mermaid tarot channels and all of them got the same fucking like look like they're the mermaids with the big ass teeth or them teeth from like abigail the move the movie with the, the ba vampire ballerina girl abigail which you all need to check out oh my god that movie was fucking amazing I've never loved the. It's been a long time since I actually dug a vampire movie, and God damn it, they, someone finally made a vampire movie that that was like good. But you need to check that. But like, it's like they had the teeth from the vampire chick, right? It was like something like that, just luring men in, like yeah, just come in the water, and their limbs are attached to an angler fish. Because they're, uh, like, sea demons and shit, you know, like, I've seen so many, like, like not saying that about the people, but it's just like, ah. Oh. Awesome, right? Now, like like I was saying before, she's a Capricorn sun. Um, cancer rising. I can't remember. Actually, let me check out her shit real quick. Well, yeah, let me check out her thing real quick since we're already on here. Give me your abouts, man. Hello, beautiful souls. I am a lovely Capricorn seagull, which you don't need to say that, but okay. Born in January, who is gifted with Friday the 13th, full moon, and Taurus intuition. So her birthday is on Friday the 13th. See, that would give me an excuse to celebrate my birthday anytime Friday the 13th came up. Like, no, like I'm not even fucking play. That'd be a good-ass excuse, wouldn't it? That would be my excuse. I'm absolutely in love with nature, healing. What are you, like a Shannon chick who's out there living like she's, like, connected to nature while staying in a fucking mansion in her sacrilegious, like, ritual garb and her fake bleached-out dreads? Like, mm. Spiritual psychosis is a real thing, man. She loves nature, healing, moon days, which whatever fuck that is. Uh, I've never heard of that, so maybe I'm just lost. Crystals, and I'm an empath. Now, my thing is, right, and I've said this to y'all before. Why am I tapping? To get a point across. An empath and a narcissist. Energy vampire. Same thing. Same thing. Same. It, 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 like, what's the difference between a narcissist and an empath? They both pay attention to your emotions to use them against you, right? Like, let me tell you something. I've never seen someone who claimed to be an empath be in a situation where people who are actually doing good. You know? Like, let's be clear. I've never seen an empath be able to handle emotions very well. 
Or so they say. When in reality, it's just like, you know, like, no, you just like being around tragic situations. And if people are happy around you, you feel a certain type of way. You feel like you can't attain that kind of shit. That's how I feel about a lot of empaths. I don't know if she's that way, but that's just how I feel in general. It's the same way I feel with psychics and mediums. They're just lying old bitches who are sitting there looking you dead in the eye while they're rambling off shit to see if anything just... It's like flinch a little bit like oh 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 I see it a glimmer of hope and emotion they believe in me a little bit let me keep taking t- 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 let me tug on this with my teeth some more same fucking shit I just I just don't trust it because like you all are hunting for emotions y'all are feeding on people's emotions and you know what I mean Emp- like I knew an empath who like she would go around helping people out of tragic situations but after they were out of situations she never checked up on them to make sure they're doing okay. She never even looked them up. She never mentioned them again. Uh, and I, I was one of those people like, how's so-and-so doing? Oh, I don't know. We don't talk anymore. Why don't you talk anymore? What happened? Oh, nothing. It's just like they're doing good and I don't want to... Oh. Hey, how's the... Oh, we don't... I, I don't... Why? What happened? Just that's not that... Would you help them with so much thing? Oh, I know, but... There's something wrong with them. You know, there's something wrong with them. I don't know. They, they just seem to be going down a really dark path. Okay. All right. All right. How's Kate? How's Kate doing? Well, she seems to be like, okay, no, no, no. This is the third person that you've went out of your way to help. But all of a sudden, you have an issue with and you can't be dealing with them no more? What the fuck? How is it that every person that you help, you're not in their life anymore? Like, you think that if you're actually assisting people genuinely... You'd have a connection right there. You know, like it's not like you're saving their life, but goddamn, if you're helping someone get a ride or some shit, I expect you to at least have some sort of bond and not automatically keep sitting there thinking, you know, like, oh, maybe they're using me for this. Maybe they really want that. Maybe they, because oh, I, I, like, you know, that's a weird thing that I notice with a lot of people too. It's like if, 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 like I've noticed that when people start helping other people, they start thinking horrible of the people that they're actually helping instead of realizing, like why they're in that fucking situation and that's why you're helping what the fuck you doing you know that, like, that's what I notice about it. that's what I say yeah like to me an empath is just a narcissist who's too cowardly to like actually be able to work with the emotions and a narcissist is someone who's so comfortable with people being in dismal emotions that it's actually intoxicating that they feel more peace when other people are more restless than they are that's the difference an empath can't be around people because they get restless a narcissist loves wrestling up other people so they do not feel restless do you understand what i'm saying and you don't have to agree with what i'm saying but that's what the fuck I'm saying. I'm not saying that she's technically like that because people take words all the time and use them for whatever. Like strong, independent, single mom. You know, like shit like, like there was all sorts of shit. It's SJW. Remember SJW back in the day? How people ran and talked all that shit about it for years. 13 to 2016 time. Remember when people were going nuts about SJWs? Same fucking shit. Same shit. Woke? That's another word that people like. Just buzzwords is all it is. People take buzzwords all the time. Twin flame, soulmate, same thing. People just take the labels. But you gotta understand what those labels can also imply on a negative effect. Like, people are now talking about dark empaths. You're just talking about a fucking narcissist. Like... You're just, like, it's all the same shit. And even narcissism doesn't even work the way it is. Because a lot of times, even if a person's a narcissist, that doesn't mean they're actually going to do asshole shit. It just happens that a lot of assholes are narcissists. Or have narcissist-like tendencies. That's it. But we're so used to labeling shit, because we want to have a pattern that gives meaning to something, it loses its initial meaning to begin with. Like, we'll call people narcissists without a fucking diagnosis. But we'll get mad at people who actually have, like, mental issues for self-diagnosing. And I don't understand what I don't understand. Like, you'll use a label on someone when it's convenient to give them, like, some sort of, like, toxic. Like, you'll call someone toxic in a heartbeat. But you think it's perfectly fine for you to bleach your fucking skin. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. Anyway. Let's get back to this because I went on a whole rant. My bad. Um... 
She's a Cancer rising, God, an opposite sign of my birth chart. I only could imagine what it is like. You know, I couldn't imagine because, like, I my big three are literally like together, like Cap Sun, Aqua Moon, Sag rising. <clears throat> All mine are together. All of mine are together. And I don't know how I don't keep arguing with myself. I don't, I like, I do, but because I get on my own nerves. But eventually, we someone else gets on our nerves. And then it's just like, you know what? We don't like you. Come here. You know, like, look at this fool over here. You know, so I can't imagine <laughs> behaving like my opposite side. Like, and mind you, I'm a girl, so I'm a crybaby, right? But it's just... I cannot imagine like having feeling and acting like a fucking cancer. I'd lose my shit. What's your moon? Why would you tell me your rising sign but not your moon sign? What the fuck? Uh, maybe it's her moon too. I don't know. Um, she's found one of her many talents. Tarot. Good for you. Anybody can get a tarot. But if you're good at it, you're good at it. So good for you for finding something. Thank you, phone. Good on you for finding something that actually gives you meaning and shit. Uh, she considers herself as a highly sensitive earth angel, healer, gypsy. Don't capitalize the G. That's actually, like, gypsy is meant to be lowercase. The capitalization is actually derogatory and considered a slur. You don't, like, uh, if she ever sees it, just let her know. She the, the G in gypsy needs to be lowercase. It's not supposed to be capitalized at all. Just letting you know. Uh, that just so she doesn't end up like actually offending someone who's Roma or Romani, something like that, right? She also calls herself a hippie and a magical seed goat soul for second time. Uh, she's always fighting off others' emotions and healing, dealing with mental health and trauma. You see what I said about the fucking empaths running out of the fucking room? Because someone else is sad. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Let's see. Um, being around others who are not vibrating at a good level are tough energies to be by. But I've learned that black crystals, what, like tourmaline, onyx, obsidian, please don't let it be tourmaline, though. Please don't let it be tourmaline. Uh, water cleansing, rounding, and a lot more way ways are out there to protect myself from absorbing others' emotions. Why don't you just shut it off? Why Why don't you just shut it off? Why don't you just be mean like a fucking cancer is? Like, you have it in you, literally. Like, that's your, like, that's your rising sign. You can be as mean as fuck as a cancer. Like, I've never known a cancer who's really nice. Like, my grandparents on my mother's side and her parents were both fucking cancers. They were both insane. I understand completely why my mother ended up the way she did. Absolutely, I understand that. Because they were both fucking nuts. But still. They also both... Actually, I'm not even going to mention it because it's not even important. Uh, but yeah, they were both cancers. They were both absolutely fucking insane. Like, imagine your daughters get attacked by a chicken. And your response to that is to get a shotgun and get down. Get down to Lulu here! And just two, two, two. And, and just shoot the chicken off your daughter. And then make your husband eat it for dinner. I'm just saying, like, yeah, like my fucked upness is hereditary. It runs in my family. And I'm kind of proud to know that I wasn't the only one born this way. But it's just crazy. I'm the only one keeping the mantle going at this point. Make you proud, Grandma and Grandpa. I promise. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, and I'm able to separate them from mine, she says. But without further explanation, she says, Welcome to my channel, and I truly hope you enjoy the content. And again, she is a cosmic mermaid tarot. Enjoy. How are you going to capitalize everything else but not your fucking name? I'm sorry, I did not mean to like just sit here and look at that, but I just now realized she never cap she capitalized almost every fucking word. Almost every other word. But she did not capitalize any of her fucking name. I would have given it up if like at least Tarot was capitalized. Or at least one of them. So I'd be like, alright, at least it looks like the start of something. But no, she does and and again. 
Both those words. She was in joy. There's no reason for that. There's not. I'm sorry. I just lost my shit. But just so you all also know, she has the best memes I've seen for a minute. Like, she really has. I don't. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Oh, she, oh gosh, she's, like, see, I knew that, they, they, okay. Alright, I'm gonna just let you all know, if you really want to go on a, a whole spiritual adventure, get you some black tourmaline, I promise you, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, she's got, um, can you guys actually see that? Yeah, you can see for the most part. Yeah, you can see, she's got some really good, um... The memes going. She likes posting shit up. That'd be pretty. The pain, actually. It'd be really pretty. But yeah, she's got, like, hella memes. She looks for the good shit. She, she's... How to start with an assist. No emotions. Good luck on that. You got that cancer rising. Short responses. You're not gonna be able to do that. Minimal interaction. Okay, the no contact, I'm sure you can go for because of the Capricorn part, but that minimal interaction, I don't know, because if they piss you off the right way, you might engage. But yeah, like, she got some, like, look at all of this. It's, the color is pretty, I do like that she does shit like this, but yeah. So, let's go, but, okay, to, there we go. Hello, Capricorns. Also, I think she started out reading for all the Zodiacs, and then she just stuck mainly to Capricorn. Which, I just want to let, make this clear. She's been reading tarot for three years. But she only has at least a minimum of a year up. Well, the last time I actually looked at her channel, channel cause other than right there. Um, she's been on here for three years and doing this for three years. But she only has about a year. Keep that in mind. Oh, hold on. I need subtitles because I can't hear shit without words. I swear to God, I'm, I'm that Capricorn where I can look you dead in the eye and I won't hear a fucking word you say. But if you had captions at the bottom of your words or you were holding the billboard, I'd be paying attention and I could hear every fucking word you say. I don't know what it is about me. It might be my dyslexia. I don't know. But it's like, if I can't read it, I don't hear it. I can have conversations, but I'm not paying attention. But it's, it's just like, if I don't, if I can't read it, I don't hear it well. Which is fucked up, because it's hard, because reading's it just, like, I like, I love reading, despite the difficulty sometimes, but it's like, it's weird, like, the only way I can really hear somebody is if I could read what they're saying, but if I read it, I have to sit there and work really, really fucking hard to understand what the fuck I just read. Good morning, good morning, depending on, like, I guess when you watch this, though, you know. Hello, no matter what time or wherever you are, okay? Let there be light. Let there be There's a Capricorn. Here comes the Cancer. Well, just watch the transformation. Look, okay. I'm trying to have a sense of humor, okay? And you would think that I was fine because that's how literally depression looks. I'm not fine. I have so much grief in my life from the crises that I'm going through and the obstacles that I am facing. I'm just going to make sure that no one feels alone because you are not alone. I am going on like 600 days of the loss of somebody and... Which is about a year and a half, two years. Keep that in mind as well. I am so nauseous all the time that I'm starting to think that I'm going to have to just live with it. Being a highly sensitive being on top of that makes this 20,000 million times fucking worse. I can't stand that I'm an empath after experiencing what I have in my life because it's horrible. Um, we cannot stop the bad, you know, and sometimes it can be so bad <laughs> that you can't do anything but grieve. You can't vibrate high at all. You literally just have to feel it. I mean, I could try. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't have to feel a goddamn thing. You'd be like Aquarius be like, you know, I know what this emotion is. I ain't dealing with this. I'll just put it away and deal with it. Never, because I'm not dealing with that right now. In fact, I don't feel like it needs my attention at all. What emotions? Fuck that shit. And fuck you for coming at me. You don't have to acknowledge your emotions. Just live in a denial like everyone else does about your emotions. Just ignore them like everyone else does. You'll be alright. In fact, start ignoring other people's emotions. And you'll be surprised how effective that is. I promise you, bitch.
Mm-hmm. I can out all I want, but... Also, I didn't mean to call you bitch, because you are my type. But I wouldn't date you, because, like, you are my type. And that's dangerous. But I'm just letting you know I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm trying to help you, ho. That's all. It doesn't work. I... I have it so bad. Oh, I push things down all day long with the candles, like, flipping ring like crazy right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, look, I, um... I push it down all day so badly. Push it real good. Um, and then I wake up and, you know, I just like, let me throw it at you and you're going to feel this. You're going to throw up. You're going to cry your eyes out. You're going to be swollen. You're going to look like shit. Your face is going to be red. It's going to so- be sore. It's going to burn. Mind you, she looks like she hasn't cried at all today. You're going to be swollen. Your lips are going to be chapped. You're going to look like shit and death. Um, and And like... And then your body is so, I guess you would say, distorted because you're exhausted from crying and throwing up so hard that it's like trying to figure out if it's dehydrated, if it's suffering, if it's dying, if it's all these things. And it's fucking mental health that's killing my entire body, killing my entire fucking soul. And no, there is no stopping it because I wish there was. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's not. I've done everything to try to get rid of nausea. I've done everything. I go to therapy. I do everything that I'm supposed to fucking do to try to get through, you know, all the mental health and all this stuff. But then it's like after all that happens, I become to a very numbed out, foggy, brain fogged state. Mm-hmm. And from crying so bad, you just have chronic headaches. And then you have the burnout and the exhaustion and the fatigue, the chronic fatigue mm-hmm. that hits you so hard that you have to go to sleep because you've already cried and threw up for five hours that your body's like, okay, you have to shut it down or I'm going to die. Like, or you're going to die. We- Technically, like, your body wouldn't allow that to happen. Even if you were to vomit for, like, five hours, you would be in a condition where you would be prone to vomit if anything were to enter your stomach. Um, but it, unfortunately, like, this doesn't work because, like, what would actually end up happening is you would vomit all your contents out, maybe a little bit of stomach bile and acid, but then you would start dry heaving because there's nothing in there. Like, you would, you would like, it, it, when your stomach's empty, all you can do is dry heave, and then eventually your body's not even going to try to do that anymore because it's, it's been empty. You might as well just sit there, take tiny sips of water and Sprite, maybe eat a saltine cracker every once every 30 minutes or so. Not two! Wait, just eat one and wait a half hour, because, like, mm-mm. mm-mm. Don't, don't be encouraging your stomach to be like, oh, I eat this is poison, too. But, like, yeah, that, like, no, it wouldn't happen like that. We don't shut the body down right now, so then the body's like, okay, then you just feel like cement. Then you have to go lay down, and then you fucking have to go to sleep, and then when you wake up, you have the worst headache, and you look horrible because of what you went through what your body was put through what the physical vessel actually fucking goes through 333 oh yeah i almost forgot she likes paying attention to the um clocks on her shit or the recording time and shouting it out to people so they know now for anybody who's ever dealt with certain aspects if i didn't know any better i almost said it was guilt It's like when you murder somebody and you know that the police are closing in. And you can't hold the contents of your stomach in anymore because you know what the fuck's coming. It almost sounds like guilt, but I can't say that because I wouldn't know. But that's just an assumption I would have made after hearing that. Because it's just like, that's a lot for depression, you know? Like, I, like I'm, uh, like I'm to me, it's just like, when would you eat when you're depressed? Like, what was it? When I was going through my bouts, I didn't eat for like days like I'm blessed uh, enough to have the energy to turn on the light in my fucking room you know like dark places but like it's just like y'all eat when you're depressed now not saying that it isn't the case but it's just like damn and you can't keep it down five hours straight is like thank you please please spirit I would love after these two years to please like 600 days? I, I just want to feel better. <laughs> a little bit better. Tiny better. I just want my, my life back a little. I know that though, like, no matter what, I swear, the second that we think we're healing, 
or that we've healed from whatever the fuck it was that was tearing us apart, then the next obstacle in life throws the next baseball at us, and it's either we're going to hit the home run or we're going to strike the fuck out, right? That's literally, like, the only analogy I really have for it. Um, I guess who can stand through the fire is all I can say. Mm -hmm. I keep somehow standing back up, and I'm, I'm fucking dying, though, man. I'm dying to a point that I can't even stand it, like... You can see me where I sit on my tarot all the time. My bed is like the sanctuary because I have so much anxiety. I can't even go into a, my own fucking living room with my mom. I got a desk on Marketplace and I have so much anxiety that I can't feel like that's my safe place out there. This is. Well, I honestly, I think that's just a Capricorn slash girl thing. I too love my bed. I will stay on my bed until I learn it's not good for me to be on the bed because if I'm constantly somewhere where I regularly sleep, I don't deal with the rest of the house and that's not good for me. So it's easier for me to just chill in the living room or in the kitchen or in my other spare rooms um, and then come to my bedroom or like, well, this is one of the spare rooms, but still. The bedroom's, like, downstairs or whatever. But, like, still, the point is... Staying in, in bed, it's nice. But it's also helpful to go to other places. Because, like, if you go to a different room, you get inspired to do other shit. It actually, like, it does something to your brain. It's, like, it's kind of similar to when, like, you're going to get something. And then you walk through a door frame, and all of a sudden it's, like... I forgot what the fuck I was getting. That kind of energy. It's just refresh. It, it just is like a free fresh for the brain. That's all. And I woke up today and had to soak my feet in Epsom salt. Mm -hmm. Because I have inflammation lumps that are so huge and tender that I can barely fucking walk. Mm -hmm. It happens just from trying to run a sweeper, shoveling a little bit of snow. Mm hmm. Like, ten minutes of fucking work is all it takes because my body already can't take the exhaustion from mental health. And then I'm trying to still push and live and instead of just letting it rest and breathe and survive. Um, I'm In other words, she says that she is so frail, she can't work. Still just trying to just think I can do it all. And the body is not made that fucking resilient. We're not made out of fucking something like metal, okay? That's not the case here. I mean, humans can be very resilient, yes. Sometimes people live through some shocking fucking shits. Mm -hmm. I am literally proof of that. Um, mm -hmm. But okay. I'm going on like six minutes, so most of me talking. I hope that some people can understand that you are absolutely not alone if you're going through some really heavy shit. Don't you dare feel guilty if you feel like shit. People make you have a stigma like you should vibrate high, but you cannot make anything heal as fast as anyone else wants you to. The healing is going to happen in divine timing. You're going to have to be in a low vibration sometimes, no matter what or who is judging you. Don't let people... I remember this one time when I broke my wrist... My elbow and busted my ass because I fell off a ladder trying to get this motherfucker right here. My, my little fats. It took 8 to 12 weeks, not for the elbow, but for the tiny, tiny bone in this wrist that is hidden within the other bones of this wrist. It was the most stupid shit. Like, I fell off the ladder. And if I hadn't let my arm fall in the way it did, because I was literally hanging on my arm held my arm up and I just dropped it and that's what actually broke my wrist. If I hadn't done that motion, I would never probably broken my wrist. I mean, it might have still gotten broken, I don't know, but I definitely know that like it absolutely happened with that and I didn't know it was even broken until they tried to take the x-ray like this and as soon as they turned my arm, I was like, yeah! and then it was like, I'm sorry man, go back to sleep, my bad, my bad. <laughs> woke up the cat but it was like it was bad right but it took like eight to twelve weeks for that bone in there to heal it's about six weeks for my elbow it was fine i just ran around with like a brace on for a little bit longer than the 12 weeks but still 
I don't even know if I have a picture of that bruise in my ass. If I do, I'll show it to you guys. It was bad. It was eight. Like, I still have the indention. It's like this big going. No. Like, I think it goes like this way on me. Like that. In the sideways where the ladder, like how I landed on it. Because I was on like the very top and it slipped out from underneath of me. Which I'm lucky my legs didn't get caught in the boards and like snap my feet or some shit. That would have been worse. But I literally fell off on my back, landed on my ass, and then like, Tseh. and that's how I broke my wrist. But all that took like a total of like 12 weeks. It wasn't the divine timing, it was kind of like bodily function. I don't know. I'm just sitting here like, you know, I'm an overthinker, right? But I'm also aware that, like, staying in my head isn't exercising my brain. It's just ruminating the same fucking shit it's already been doing. However, if I pick up a book I've never read before or engage myself mentally or even physically in something I've never done before in order to attempt to learn it, I'm doing something with my brain that's never done before and getting, like, I don't know. I'm just, dialectic behavioral therapy book. It's it's a it's a it's a book, right? I had to use for my BPD. It teaches you how to be mindful and to stop yourself from fucking yourself up with your brain, because your thoughts will do things, and you'll let them thinking that it's normal. And like once you do start doing the DBT, you'll realize, oh wait 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 wait, I'm allowing myself to think this way. I need to learn how to catch my method of thinking instead of just letting thoughts be there. I need to catch myself in the midst of it and be like, why am I acting like this? Before I go ahead and act like this. You know what I mean? Let this play. I'm gonna get people coffee. like on here, like these terror people get in your fucking ear that bad because sometimes they make me really feel like shit. Like, Fuck those people. I'm so sorry that I'm not as tough as you want me, me out to be. Um, I'm an empath. I'm sensitive. I do unblock my chakras all day long. I journal. I do everything. I go to therapy. I try to help myself just like everyone says to. Um, I've released the control a million and one times. Um, <clears throat> the universe is just like, stop listening to every fucking buddy else and let your body tell you how it needs to heal and how it fucking feels, not anyone else. I'm so sick of But your body's telling you it wants to vomit all the time and shit. I'm sorry, I just wanted to add that in there. I just say, like, your body wants to throw up all the time. Why is it in the, why does it want to vomit all the time? Why do you feel like you can't do anything? What's got you in that funk? Shadow work is important. Hearing that I have to vibrate high when I'm grieving. That is like impossible until the body is done feeling like shit. I, I don't want to hear that like we're stuck in our mind or we have this limiting belief. No, what the fuck is happening is reality sometimes and that's not a limiting belief. And the real belief here is that you have to feel to heal and that can take a long fucking time sometimes. Years we can be in a low vibration fucking years it's called getting out of denial accepting grieving etc etc okay i don't want to keep going because then i just turn into fucking therapy god years makes it sound like exhausting just ronnie and i don't want to do that here. you're not a therapist so, let me just get back into the you know earth angel tarot mode <clears throat> and shake it all off you know let me just get it all off me like seriously i can't <sighs> are you okay by the way if you feel like you have, like, somebody doing something, like, I'm going to throw this out there. We are living in a generation where people play with a lot of magic. They wish people a lot of ill intent and harm. And if anyone, like, okay, if anyone is, like, throwing in a little bit of that stupidity black magic at you or something, okay, and you kind of feel like shit, that's kind of, like, the only thing that people can really fucking do is what I believe is they can really just disturb your fucking energy. Kind of make you feel more tired than normal. But that can be an illusion that can also get into our... I didn't catch that part. Didn't she? Didn't I read out a part earlier where it's hard for her to accept other people's energies or some shit because she's always absorbing it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not an empath. I'm a hill jack. So there's a difference. Or head. Um, you don't have to believe anything because then you just give it its power. So don't believe anything like that. But I do believe. So then why are you listening to what people say? Can get rid of any type of shit energy that is stuck in your body. What? No, 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 no. Salt absorbs. It doesn't get. It doesn't get rid of energy. It absorbs the energy. 
See, this is why y'all who are playing with tarot cards need to learn something about the actual occult. Because I'm sitting here just telling, like, you know, occult literally it, it translates to hidden knowledge. But it never hides. People just don't look the shit. You know what? It, it, like, fuck it. I don't care. I just had, like, I'm not your mom. so much different Epsom salts plus eucalyptus. Um, and I had to soak my poor suffering feet because I looked up, why do I have all this inflammation? Why do I have these lumps? Shouldn't like, you be going to a doctor? Parts? Is this going to be this? It's not. It's oh. inflammation that can literally be caused by the lightest bit of fucking work because your body is so tired and stressed autoimmune deficiency on top of it plus hyperthyroidism plus everything else plus this grieving shit that i'm going through this fucking shitty loss and then you know i know that after i fucking pick myself back up again i'm only getting older which sucks and this is what sucks about everybody okay this i'll i'll like timestamp this like 10 minutes in okay if you don't want to hear me what's wrong getting old 10 minutes in but the older that we get the unhealthier we get the more affected we are it's just... I wouldn't necessarily say we get more and healthier. It's just the tolls we put upon our bodies finally come into effect. That's all. You know, all that time in your teens, and then your teens, and then, like, your 20s and your 30s, all that time where you were fucking off? Welcome to your 40s where you feel all that shit. Like, all all of that serotonin, that's all... That, it's out. It's out. You get to feel everything. You, it, you didn't even know there was something wrong with your back until you sneezed, honey, that day. You smile at someone, all of a sudden your knees fucking hurt and you can't bend them no more. You lost your toes from rushing your tape. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a disaster. But you brought it on yourself because you didn't take care of that body in your younger y ages. You know, Death Becomes Her was a very good movie to prove a point. Death Becomes Her was that movie. Everyone who was my age, if not a little bit older, if not a little bit younger, watched. And nobody got the message, you need to take care of your body. I don't even know what my point is. I, I, I'll quit. I'm done. I'm done. Are you good? Okay. All right. So now we're going to go over to uh, this other one. Hold on. Which is the one I actually uh, found, which I found completely interesting. And this is where I, I, I like the main crux of it is, is where I just want to point out everybody's fucking human. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody does something fucked up. Does anyone deserve to get judged? And will you be able to keep yourself from judging this human being once you listen to them? Because this is a, a, this is more of a litmus test for the audience than it is anything else, right? Because I just want to know. Oh, it's gonna be long. Hello, Capricorn. Why are you whispering in the car? Where my tarot? I just wanted to let everybody know I haven't forgotten you. I'll get back to tarot as soon as I get back to some more of my healing. Now, the, here's the thing. When you saw the previous video, her hair isn't gray. She's actually blonde. She dyed her hair for some reason. But I don't know the reason. I have a lot going on in my personal life and it's hell. And in this one, see, now it looks like she actually cried some. The grip on that lighter she got, that like this right here, this is, I'm at my fucking wit's end and I don't know what to do. I don't have money for cigarettes. Like, she's holding that grip on that lighter for dear fucking life. She is in pain and she doesn't know how to express it. Thank you, phone. She can't express it. The Capricorn in her is fucking turned all the way the fuck up. Because she's pissed off. she got that cancer rising. But when it really comes down to it, your rising sign is just the key to the ignition. Which is powered by the engine, which is your moon sign. But your sun is the car. You're just the driver. The car is your sun sign. It doesn't matter if, if, the, if the ignition is your rising sign. It doesn't matter if your moon sign is the fucking engine. You can't do anything with either of those without the goddamn car. She is a Capricorn that acts more like a fucking cancer with her whiny ass than she does an actual Capricorn. But by the end of the day, when she's really fucking triggered, she's in Capricorn mode. 
She's frustrated as fuck. Now she is at her wit's end. Now she's at that point where it feels like rock bottom. And it's like, I am sick of everyone giving me shit. Call me little redhead. I'm a dude all my goddamn self. That's where she at right now. But I will say that I'm just going to tell you the good news. If you don't know, retrograde is something that makes us all and have has made us all have a long time of bad luck. We've been the targets for people to bully us. We've been the targets of toxic past cycles. We've mm -hmm. been experiencing things and having rebirth after rebirth or just the Nine of Swords after the Nine of Swords, or Tower Moment after Tower Moment. No, I heard this part when I first heard, like, the first part of this video, I was just listening to her be like, okay. Then I heard the other video, which is the one I showed you first, and then I came back to this and I listened to you and I was just like... What kind of Tower Moments? What kind of Nine of Swords? Because it's really... Because, like, Tower by itself doesn't necessarily say it's a bad or a good thing. A Tower moment is just, like, where a faulty foundation is crumbling. Um, things are being exposed for not being true. But it gives you the chance to rebuild with a true foundation. A new foundation, right? But if you're mentioning the Nine of Swords before that, it's just, like, what are you worried about? Not that I'm trying to read it, but, like, she's throwing out, like, certain things. And it's just, like, why would you put those two together and have me sit here just paying attention to that? Be like, so it's all in your head and, like, it's all about to come crashing down. Or are you realizing that, like, this illusion is all on you? But you don't want it to end. Like, you know, it's one of those things where it's just, like, I just heard that combination. I was just, like, I'm not trying to constellate, Maya. I'm trying to keep from the constellations. This is a dangerous time for constellations. That's why I'm paying attention to most readers right now. Because it's like, I don't think they understand what the fuck's going on. But that's none of my business. But I'm not trying to constellate right now. That's not good for me. And finally, Capricorns, you can like breathe the biggest high of relief of your life. Because okay. if blessings don't come next, then I would not even believe in retrograde anymore. I just know that in our lifetime, one one one. Thank you. So she goes with clock shit. We will never experience a retrograde in Capricorn again. Okay. Again, ever. It was the last Mercury retrograde in our lifetime that will ever be in Capricorn sign. See, and I'm never worried about that personally as a Capricorn myself. Like, sure, it's a little bit more intense, but it's like it's every Mercury retrograde that's the issue. Always annoying, like, it's already bad enough Capricorns are misunderstood accidentally on purpose anyway. But the murder retrograde actually makes sure it's, it's authentic, but you get to see how people really are with you, too. Like, for me, Cap like, Mercury retrograde is a blessing for me because I get to see how people actually feel about me. Like, because at that point, they can't hide what it is. Like, I'll be myself, and they'll just show me what kind of ass they is. Or they'll show me that they actually care about me. So it's uh, Mercury retrograde is a blessing for me. I don't know about anybody else, but that's just how I put it. But it being in Capricorn, oh, that did not help. Mm -mm, that that did not help. That was some. I, that was ridiculous. That was so disrespectful. That never has has happened again. So I'm grateful for that. And anyone that deserves their karma that they haven't been experiencing but everyone else that's a goat has been experiencing karma for 10 15 20 years two years five years isn't two and five an interesting number you think she would go two five ten fifteen twenty like numerical order but she went ten fifteen twenty two five get ready for everyone else to be very mean and they're only going to be mean because they're going to finally experience judgment in and karma and justice is now in our favor because we have been treated so poorly and unfairly for so long. I can't even believe that I found that out. I've been crying my eyes out because shit sucks, but... You do look like you've been balling, bitch. Not the fun the kind of balling. Okay, hold on. I just want to, like I just want you to pay attention. Sucks, but 
This is the time I guess we break those toxic family curses. You see how she looked directly at the fuck over here? It's making me assume the house is over this yonder, right? I don't know if you can see my mouse on this some bitch, but I'm zooming the mouse back and forth on the screen, be like, you see, you see how she's looking at the house? You see how her eyes went uh, zoom, like that, zoom, like that? There's an issue. There's an issue. We can all hope we can give it a good try. Huh? Are you gonna cry? Cause you literally look I mean, like they're all. Won't be fucking on our dicks no more, or meat riding us any fucking more. I said it. Okay, good for you. Today in this reading that I watched, the Queen of Swords usually has her sword up ready to fight. Egotistical. You should go looking at the house again. Bad communication always trying to fight. Every card I've seen today, for some reason, it's almost like the cards are messed up because the Queen of Swords has her sword down. Everyone's done fighting. Mm hmm if anyone thinks they're gonna get a reaction and wants to fight with me from now on, I will forfeit. I will leave. I will forget you exist. I'm gonna cut people off and I'm gonna put me first for the rest of my life because I have not been caring about my life. Good I girl! Been living it. You hear that? She's finally inspired with She is done! She is done! She's ready for all this bullshit to be over. Good for her. Good for you. I've been miserable. Get on and your I feet. Been hiding them and like inflamed feet from fear of living for over ten years. Mm -hmm. That's how within the past three years I ended up finding something to do online, which was tarot, and taught myself, and read, and journaled. Mm -hmm. And I've had mental health since the age of seven. So if you think this will ever go away when I'm forty years old, you're funny. And that's what I found out. She was forty. I was like, whoa, what? You're my age. Okay, that's fair. I just know that I'm sick of living in survival mode, and I definitely deserve healthy love, good relationships, and not to feel like this ever again. Okay. I know that nothing is just going to be perfect, because life fucking sucks. Right! And funerals and mean people, but... Yes! I'm done fighting. Yes! And giving reactions to the people that love to fucking be a narcissist, be a power hungry motherfucker. Okay. To want a reaction and gaslight people. Mm hmm. To be liars and unloyal. Mm hmm. And I'm done feeling that I am less than when it comes to anyone in my life, including family. You I'm get it, girl. Now. Okay. I mean that. Stand on that business. Every fucking bit of me, I don't care. I don't care I'm with you. We don't care together. The way people hurt me is way worse than. Me not being hurt by losing them. Right. It's not even like you're worried about losing them. You're worried about hurting them. Because you wouldn't want that hurt. Like, let, let, like, let's be honest here, darling, okay? Let's be honest, Ronnie. Because I'm going to call you by your name. It's not that you're afraid of being hurt by losing them. You're afraid of hurting them because you know how much it would hurt yourself. That's what's keeping you from just cutting them off. That's why you need to ignore your fucking emotions. Like, let's be clear. If you did to them what they did to you, would would they forgive you? No, they wouldn't, would they? They'd probably never talk to you again. Why are you giving them the time of day? Because they know that you care too much. They know that you care about their feelings, so they don't have to care about yours. So why don't you just, like, not give a fuck about their feelings, curse them out, or just not talk to them ever again? I wouldn't even tell them. Let them figure it out on their own. Why even give them the satisfaction of feeling some sort of closure? I won't even tell them that's the case. But you're more worried about hurting them than you are losing them. That's what's keeping you from letting them go, okay? That's what that is. You're afraid of hurting other people's feelings. You're not worried about losing them. I'm done repeating this Eight of Cups bullshit by pouring love into people who don't pour into me and then they just get mad when I am... Doing my job. Oh, you got a job! Yay! And the only thing that anyone wants out of me when I pay bills is if I even talk for two hours out of the week, that's still too much for someone to deal with. I'm not sure if that made sense, but someone's gonna know what the fuck you said, okay. I'm sick of my family. Okay, fuck I'm family. Sick of the way I'm treated. Fuck how they treat you. I'm sick of the way that I'm treating them too. Good I'm deal. Not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect because then, then 
everyone will just run their mouth and paint the picture they're real ugly of me that they want, but I always hold myself accountable. I have mental health, I have trauma, <clears throat> I lash out, but I'm also a Capricorn, so I'm going to speak it way meaner than any other motherfucker you've ever met in your life, and if you can't handle the truth and the shoe did fit you. No, 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 I'm tired of us saying that shit. I am tired of us Capricorns trying to go out the way and be like, oh, we're going to say it just mean, you just can't handle it. Cause no, 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 no. There is brutally honest and there is tactfully honest. There is compassionate honesty. There's soothing honesty. You can beat around the bush with people so they get the idea in their head so they come up with it on their own instead of you having the na 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 and all their shit. You don't have to speak anything at all. You don't have to. And also, if you gotta say it to somebody more than once, they're already aware and they don't care. Think you're serious? Like I've dated a Capricorn before. I don't even know if she's still living. Well, like they are trans now. Like they decided to come. Like it was a kind of a fucked up situation. Like we got together and then they wanted to come out as trans. And I was just like, so why didn't you tell me before we got together? That's kind of a lie. You know, it's one of those things where it's like I relate to the men when it comes to lies and shit. I don't know what are they name so Gunner or Hunter or some shit right there. Like. All that bullshit just being like, oh yeah, I'm a brutally honest person. It's just like, no, you're not. You just like being brutal with what you see and what you think is the truth. You're not actually like honest. You just use other people's honesty against them. Because if you were brutally honest, I wouldn't be the 17th fucking girlfriend you've had telling you the exact same thing wrong with you. It was one of the, like, I'm, like, this, like this crazy motherfucker, right? Before, uh... I, it, 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 like going into their whole thing because I don't I have no idea if they've even started like their therapy or whatever but they were still like identifying as like a woman at that time they just got their binders and shit so they are telling me stories about how they led women on um to believe that they were in love and shit see three or two or three bitches at one time and was telling them to me like I, like I should be proud of, with them and I'm just like so you want to become a man to do the exact same thing men do to women. I hope your next girl is karmic and I hope she takes you through the ringer. I don't even give a fuck if the bitch likes me. Do what you need to do, sis. It's all on you. I don't even give a goddamn. I'd be honestly shocked that they were still in the... I figured they would have been out of that house by now. If they're still there... Lord have mercy on their soul. I'm surprised that, that that the house is still... Like, if that house is still there, if they're still in that house, I'll be absolutely fucking shocked. I don't even want to know. I do not even want to know. But if they're still in that house, God, I hope, like, taking that was worth it. Because I don't think they're... I, I, don't, I don't think... I don't, I don't think they know what they took. I, I don't think that motherfucker do anything. But then again, if my shit's still there, too, in that house, like, they're never leaving. But I don't really want to know. But that's beside the point. The point is, is like, like this crazy person would just tell me all sorts of insane shit about other women, and like talk about how they treated women. And I'm sitting there like, if you were a guy, you would be a whole red flag, and I wouldn't be with you. But you're telling me all this stuff about you well after, like we were already like almost six months together at that point and it was just then that they started actually telling me what kind of person they actually were and i'm just like if you were a man i would have avoided you from fucking jump you're all right like you are the type of person nobody wants to be in a relationship with you can't commit to nobody and you have no like real respect for the people who you're fucking with like oh it was just it was uh like at some point, they, like I like at some point, they told me that their like their sister was dating the dude who was racist, Jack. And I was just sitting there looking. I was just like, "Why are you?" So you know your sister is dealing with this person. So you know that she's totally cool with it. But we're together. So what the fuck should I think about you? And mind you, I was like the actual first black chick this person had been with. They dated biracial people, but I was the first black chick. But then they found out real quick, black women are not putting up with that shit. If you're gonna get in my face and, and get ready to fucking put your hands on me, I'm absolutely pushing you the fuck away from me and getting you the fuck away from me so you don't put your hands on me. I ain't doing that shit. 
Yeah, I already had someone else like do. Uh, I've had uh, like already another person try to do that shit with me, and I and I had mm -mm, no, 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 no crazy motherfucker constantly playing head games like those Leo place those Leo placements in that bitch. Oh, it was overwhelming and ignorant as fuck. Never again. Mm -mm. But if she's, but if they're still stuck in that fucking house, my lord have mercy on their fucking soul. I guess I took a stab at that ego that needed a fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, quit, like, uh, quit with that. Because, like, you could say things in a certain way and people will take it. Like, it's called, like, it's called tact. You have to learn how to be tactful. I mean, you can be blunt as fuck if you want to be. Um, and, and show people that, like, um, you don't know how to talk to motherfuckers. Go right ahead. But you gotta learn how to talk to people the way they want to hear things. You can't just come out and say shit. You actually have to learn how to get people to listen to you. Like, people will hear you all day long, but they won't hear shit. Break. And right now, my ego is busted in fucking half. Mm-hmm. That is why my sword is down. Oh, so you're an air side moon? The queen of wands energy, or I mean the queen of swords energy, yeah. But that just means I need to work on self-acceptance freedom and peace and self-love instead of always pouring the love that I don't even have left in my body or my fucking physical or mental health anymore yeah. to the people who don't care about mine who are not actually helping anymore who don't care if I fall and collapse who don't mm. offer the help who are too lazy who will help other people before they help you uh -huh. I'm absolutely done being hurt and I'm done I'm more than done 100% done this is where for the past two years. Mm-hmm. And 600 days. I dyed my hair and owned the darkness. But they even think and I, I had love. been blind my whole life and I never thought I would fucking turn into this dark side of me. Get down! The pain was too dirt. much to I'm bear sorry, like... to lose a home and a son and then to go through all this sh Well, uh, I'm sorry. I almost skipped through that. Hold on. Dark side of me. But the pain was too much to bear to lose a home and a son to lose a home and a son. Now, mind you, at some point, near the beginning, right here, or it was somewhere in here, I, shit, somewhere, shit, somewhere over here, I can't remember, I ended up scrolling down. Oh, where is it? She actually had a description here. That was like, um, uh, something about her son that apparently she took off. Whoa, what? Like, she doesn't want... Like, it was something. I need to find... I actually have the video recorded somewhere. Um... Actually, hold on. Let me look at that real quick. Cause I, okay, this is when I recorded this the other day. And I just want you all to watch this, right? Because I, I, I literally was looking on here like, why is the description gone? This is like, nah, bitch. Nah. Yeah. Jesus. I dyed my hair and owned the darkness. It was pretty... And I have been a blonde my whole life, and I never thought I would fucking turn into this dark side of me. Mm -hmm. But the pain was too much to bear mm -hmm. to lose a man and a son. Whoa, what? And to go through all this shit with this. It is like, wait, 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 what did I just hear? And I have been a blonde my whole life, and I never thought I would fucking turn into this dark side of me. But the pain was too much to bear to lose a home and a son. And then to go through all this shit with this fighting and ver- See? I heard the sun part, and I was confused. And I was like, oh my god, it was her child? And I went to the description down here to mm -hmm. read what the fuck happened with the kid. And it says, I- d Yeah, see, and this app thing I got here, it shows the description without me having to click on it, right? So, this was already here, but for some reason, it ain't there now. Uh-uh. No. No, 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 no. I know you don't want to talk about it, but you put it up here. I just want to add that I'm not Jean N.A. Explain how I lost my son. People are going to paint what picture they want. I could say, I, I could mean jail, rehab, etc. But I, I have years of no contact. Or I have years with no contact. I'm grieving his absence, and that can mean many things, but I, as a mother who could have never imagined what happened that did happen, is a funeral to me. Alright, so you see, y y y you understand why I'm a little bit like, uh, where did it go? 
where did it go? Where did it go? Like, I wouldn't have even given a damn if she hadn't removed it. I wouldn't have even given a damn. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. But it's like, I, I don't want to sit here and be like, wait a minute, where did it go? Because I, I looked at that. But she's got a lot of support. She don't. She's got a lot of support. Yeah, as you got a lot of support here. Um, but I'll tell you right now, this was uh, April 28th. What's the calendar date? About three weeks prior. 13 days ago, two weeks ago, 13 days ago. Uh, but this was about a three week old video. She just recently got this many viewership. Because when I first saw this, it was not this many people on here. But I think you saw that in what I just showed you. And then to go through all this shit with this fighting and verbal abuse by family and being stuck living with people that you are forced to live with but hate your guts. I hate my... Welcome to America where you're black. Well, you're not, but I'm just letting you know, like... I, I like, welcome to my world, motherfucker. Join us. Join us. We got barbecue and good food here. My life... And I want to love my life again, and I'm going to make that happen. No do it! Do I lose? Do it! I'm done. Look, I don't even give a fuck what happened between her and her, with the kid or the house or whatever. It does not matter to me. What matters to me is, number one, she should never delete it because I didn't want to look like a liar, right? Because that's the only reason I even know what I know about her because she had it there originally, right? And I'm not trying to out her. That's not the point. The point is, I like this bitch. And I want to see her do something with her fucking life. I don't give a fuck how much she fucked her life up. I don't even give a fuck how much she fucked her kid's life up. I just want her to have a happy fucking ending. I want her to have a happy ending and to maybe go back and rectify the damage she's done. She can't take any of it back. All she can do is do something to try to rectify it. Not make it whole because that'll, that'll never be possible. This is not the court of law. But she can do something. To justify why she fucked everything up at the time. She can come back and do more than what she destroyed, right? There is always a chance for everybody to come back from what the fuck they is and do something with themselves, right? It is not impossible at all. I want her, just like all the other ones I looked at, I want them to end up with a very good outcome but until they get that outcome i'm gonna just sit here and like stereotype like a motherfucker love you no hard feelings but like you know this is this is something that everyone needs to understand because we are all um meant to be disrespected and hated and judged on while we're living on this planet right that's the whole point um but can you rectify and save your own soul before you die can you do that? Because, like, the whole Rory Burrells, now the gate's actually fucking open. So, like, now it's like, oh, we gotta get back into lessons and shit. The workers are attacking ships again. That's absolutely vital as well. But no one paid attention to that. It, it, like, it's the same shit that what happened with China when the sky was red, but everyone's been ignoring that. And now that, like, it's happened again. And just, like, you know what? I don't need to explain all that. If you've been here on my shit, you should know that. And if you've been here and you decided to rebuke my shit, how does it fucking feel? How does it feel? That's all I gotta say. But I, everybody else, I love your face. You're a good thing. You're a good kid. Don't eat, don't take nothing personally. I love you. Except unless I'm actually talking about you, and then you can take it all personally. I don't give a fuck. But if I ain't talking about you, you're good. You're a good kid. Whatever beds people make, even if they're my children, you made them. I'm sick of making them. I'm not raising diapers and babies no more. I'm definitely not fucking gonna go through this shit no more. I'm tired and sick all the time and no one even cares. Mm -hmm. They'll act like they'll care once you're collapsed and dead in the yard and by then I'm sorry but too little too late. Fair. That goes for everybody. I waited for friends for years to change. They didn't. Okay. I prayed for God. To remove everyone that was falsely loving me or fake. Lost time lost everybody. Imagine praying to God and God's like when the problem asks you what's wrong. I've been there. I've been there. What the fuck? 
set of firm boundaries, watch them fall off the cliff. It's okay. I know there's going to be good people that are going to come into my life because I'm going to get rid of everything from my past and I'm going to forget this fucking past life that I've been living that has been horrible. Okay. I haven't lived it at all. I've been in survival mode. Mm -hmm. And I have made sure that I made myself so fucking miserable mm -hmm. and busy by hanging up the party, the distractions, so that I could try to be a good mom. And it didn't even matter anyway. Everyone still painted an ugly picture. And because people would say that when I tried to date to weigh out the options if they were good enough for me and my kids, they would just say that I was playing house. So I stopped dating. It's like a fucking Taylor Swift movie. It's sick. How she has that speech. Oh, they think I'm dating too many people? Okay, I'll stop. Oh, they think I'm doing too much of this? Okay, I'll make sure I don't do that. Uh -huh. I'm fucking done caring what any of you fucking people think or what anyone thinks. Mm -hmm. I don't care what I lose anymore. I lost it all. Mm -hmm. You think I don't know what suffering is? Boy, are you a fucking retard. That's not nice. Like, what if retards ever do to you? Like, that? Like don't be calling normal people that shit. They, like, yeah, like, leave the special people alone. Don't be, like, using that as an insult on people who have full brain capacities. This is not that. This is not the right kind of time for that kind of insult. You wait until I do something. That we all know someone who's handicapped would not do. Not just a average things. I know plenty of people who are in wheelchairs who will make fun of fucking somebody. And talk that shit. Honestly, sometimes they're meaner than regular people, not gonna lie. You're probably the malevolent fuck that curses and hexes and wishes all that bad on me. But finally... I mean, and, 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 okay, well, that was just a weird thing to say. Um, honestly, as a practitioner, I wouldn't curse you at all. You'd be, and I would end up, like, fucking my own self up trying to interrupt your karma. Yeah, that's the weird, like, that's always a weird thing. The people who are going through it the most, they don't seem to understand that, like, when you cast a spell on somebody, you are literally responsible for that person, that soul that you're fucking with, right? It's like people don't understand that. It's like most practitioners, if they're going to fuck with somebody, who are, well, ones who probably are not of my caliber, but of, of my kind of, um, more solidary than anything. But, like, like I ain't fucking with you because I don't want to, I just want to live in the woods by myself. Like, it's a strong bisexual energy. I want to live in the woods with the animals because people piss me off. Men, women, I don't care what you identify as. Y'all are pissing me the fuck off. I want to live in the woods with the animals. And sing, like, a Sleeping Beauty mermaid shit songs. I don't know. Some of them from Disney. Some of them from Disney. Anything to get me away from you fucking human beings. Because I don't want to date any of you motherfuckers. You know? One of those. I would never put anything on you. Because I would be too worried about what that would do to me. Right? You are explaining you're an empath and that you absorb energies and all of that shit. I would never touch you. Ever. I would never touch anybody who has what I feel off of you. And I'm not even about to describe it because I don't want people running around creating new buzzwords for what I feel from you. Like, people who actually practice the craft the same way I do, they know exactly what the fuck... Y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, fellow practitioners. Looking at her, I wouldn't touch her. I wouldn't even say, I, I wouldn't be able to send her a blessing. I couldn't send her a blessing, a curse, a hex, a trick, a crossing, nothing. I wouldn't be able to do anything. Because I maybe pray to God for her. Because I, I like, it, I'm not trying to do anything direct. I'll go through the fucking middleman if I want to send the blessing. That's the safest route with someone like her. Not her fault, but that's her protection right there. And she doesn't even realize it. You know, like, like, a uh, thing about, like, like, I, you know, I'm not even going into that, because that's another thing people don't need to be running with. Capricorn's justice is in our favor. Because injustice has been going on for far too long. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the good people go through so much bad, they have to wait for so fucking long. Why'd your light go off? Oh, okay. 
before they even experience any good or even fucking spiritually tap into finding out who they even are and it took me until 40. I better at least be happy for the next five years or I'm going to be super pissed. I mean, what are you going to do about it if you're not? <laughs> but I'm going to make sure I'm happy. Because no matter how much I try to make anyone else happy, they hate me anyway. The harder you love them, the more they resent you. There's like cancer again. Mm. The less they like you. They just want... Everybody is just so mean. People help you and then they throw it in your face that they helped you and then you try to pay them back and then they throw the money back at you and they don't even give a fuck. But they have the nerve to start a fucking domestic violence fucking fight with you. Wait. About they did something for you and then during that fight they can not even bring up what the fuck they were going to say. Wait. That they did for you that week and then it, the only thing that can come out of their mouth is they got cat food. Wait. For you. And then you're ready to throw a hundred fucking dollar bill at them like... Don't you ever... You're gonna pay someone to whip your... Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna pay someone after you physically fought them? Because why are your uh, domestic DV shit? I'm automatically thinking, oh, so y'all are throwing down. But you, you threw down and gave it and then threw a hundred at them? Like a hooker? You, you made them feel like a hooker. I forgot about that part. Uh, I totally forgot about that part. Okay. Fucking love me enough to shut the fuck up if you helped me once. I hate. And I don't want to say that, but I hate so many people right now, and it's going to take a lot to forgive. But I will forgive. And I will forget. And I'm going to move on with my life that okay. I haven't been living in over a decade. Why'd your light go off? Sorry, that is the light that keeps going out because the battery in the car is probably going to die soon. Because you have the light on. Absolutely done being treated like garbage. The injustice has been terrible. Okay, look, right. I I know it's none of my business, and I'm really trying not to like knock this girl at all. Because like I don't want to hurt her feelings, but she'll be fine because she's a fucking Capricorn. I don't care if she acts like a Cancer. I know how the fuck it is. Um, but don't you have a flashlight in the car? Better yet, isn't it kind of weird for you to be sitting all the way in the dark in your car and keep clicking the light on like the neighbors don't see? Which is fine. I mean, like that's like that's that, like that's your business. I ain't hating on you for it, you know. But I feel really bad for your alternator. That's all, because it's gonna have a lot of work to do. Like, hopefully, your battery doesn't go bad. I'm just, I'd like, I'm just putting it out there because I just know, like, probably get a flashlight, because like. I share my vulnerability and I don't give a fuck. There's nothing anybody can do because I'm speaking my truth. The only thing that they're mad at is that I'm not keeping their peace. Bye. And their I don't care what ever happens anymore. Wait, what do you mean you're not keeping their peace or secrets? What are you doing to disrupt their peace? I know men don't like that. I don't know how bitches feel about other bitches doing it. They never were there for me, and they just made fun of me and loved every fucking bit of pain. But aren't you living with them? And they wished me harm. Uh-huh. And they treated me really bad. Mm hmm So bad that I don't know how they don't have their own guilt. I think that's what you call inhumane. 1212. There is the number. It's like a soulless, malevolent, demonic fuck. No, nah, they're just human beings. That's what human beings do. Human beings go out of their way to harm you. And then act surprised when you care enough more about yourself to not be in that shit. To not fuck with them again. Like, I had a dude do that to me. Just treat me like, like, like talk shit. Like an absolute ass. And then act like he didn't say what he said. And this is like, motherfucker... Yeah, has the audacity to claim, like, like, soliciting my voice. Like, motherfucker, no, you don't, or else you, like, nah. There's a boy, like, why, like, mm, mm Believe me, my soul's like that on PMS. I just know how to fucking come back to reality. 
Look at my awesome book. I cried all over it before this video, and I turned to the best page. Matthew eleven twenty five. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The thing I have to do right now will be the hardest thing I have to do, which is to walk away from everybody. Okay, I know you're going to walk away from everybody with your inflamed feet, but like, it was like, what, six months ago? and Or some of it, no, it was in February of that last video I showed. Um, where you're talking about your body needs to heal and rest and shit. How long are you, are you going to rest before you get bored of that shit? I'm just curious. Like, I, I like, personally, myself, I like getting up and going and, like, doing things. If I'm not, I'm, I'm most likely at home sitting on my ass painting or something. But, um... Don't you want to do something different? Don't you want to do something different? Something that'll take your mind away from it so you can come back to it like a few months later and be like, oh yeah, I know what bullshit I was on now. You know what I'm just saying. Who thinks that I would never abandon them for the way that they disrespect me. Oh, there's your light again, man. See? Get it? Spirit does not want this message to come out, but I don't care. Spirit doesn't want me to let this part of the message out, but I don't care. There's a reason she said that. The only thing anyone ever got mad at me about is because I didn't want to protect their peace. But they never gave about a shit about mine, so fuck you. I will clap when your funeral happens if you ever fucking treated me bad enough. I will not care. I do get that hurt. Mm-hmm. And I think the most unfair part about my life is that I have had three kids to three people and I've never gotten child support either but people get mad if I have a family member help me out and then that family member is just an abusive fucking monster and throws everything that they do for me in my face I'm so we aren't judging her but remember she's three for three So lost, but I still know that spirit has my back. Okay. And I'll just keep on making sure I see at least a glimmer of hope. I won't lose all my faith because of these people who want me to fucking lose it and they want to see me fall and die. Okay. I know that I've already been killing myself by mental health physically for years. Don't be like me. Okay. Don't care so much, 14 to 14, about what people think of you to the point that you stop living your life, having sex, having friends, having the party, having fun. You literally become so miserable because you can't so come out again. You have no distractions and you try to be absolutely fucking perfect with the responsibilities and being the nurse and the doctor and the mom and the, the bitcher. The bitcher? But then when you're the bitcher. The bitcher. And all you do is squawk all the time at everybody to brush their teeth and shower and wipe their ass or to do this or to do that, they just get mad at you. And then you're hated. 1444. So don't try so hard. I promise everyone will just paint an ugly picture of you anyway, no matter how great you did. You, the mom, the nurse, doctor, and the bitcher. And then when you're squawking, that's when you're the bitcher. Get people to brush your teeth, wipe their ass, but they all get mad at you for it. Who gives a fuck if your kids get mad at you for it? That's, uh, like, they can get mad all they want. That's what the fuck they, they're got. Uh, they, uh, uh, oh, well. Oh, you don't want to brush your teeth? Oh, well, I guess you just don't want to do anything else today, do you? Mm. Well, that's the first step, little tip. I, when the fuck did people become so soft that they're scared of telling their kids what to do? My parents would have whipped my ass in a heartbeat, given a reason. Well, my dad looked for reasons to whip her ass. He had a bad enough day. Just go ahead and fuck up one time. Go ahead and fuck up one goddamn time. I'm sitting here looking at you. Like, you know, like, I came, I, like, I got old school parents. The fuck? Very old school parents. Because, uh-uh, no. You won't have no autonomy until you're 18 and you better get a job in my house or you need to find another place to stay. Or bad you did. 
everyone's always, remember, that's one thing I'll say out of that Bible. Not one is good, even if they're judging you. I'm not even good. But I'm done convincing everybody that I'm worthless. Yeah. They're not going to convince me I'm worthless anymore. No, that's your job. Maybe sometimes I'm a monster. Okay. And I lash out through my trauma and my mental health, but I'm not a liar. I'll tell you if I'm bad mom or bad friend or anything. See, and that's where I'll disagree. It's not your job to tell people what kind of parent you were. That's your kids' job. Your kids are the ones who tell the world what kind of parent you is. You know if you did a good job or not by the way that your kids talk about you. You, and like you know, like I'll, I'll like I'll say shit about what happened with uh, like with my parents. Well, more, mainly my mother because me and my mom we just got that relationship. But at the end of the day, I still will end up being like I love my mom and I know she loves me. We just if we work together, she'd definitely be trying to be the one to get me fired. Even though I'd be the most reliable one there, she'd want me fired because I just don't fit or click. I I know this about our relationship, but I wouldn't go out of my way to say that my mom never did what she was supposed to do for me. I'll never say that she left me without clothes. I'll just say that she it taught me the hardest lesson anyone else ever taught me, which is, like, like I trust no one. I rely on nobody. You know, like, it, at least for me. Like, she did a good job teaching me how to survive the world. It's just... I just got to cope with our relationship till the day I die. Like, she's going to die before me, and I got to just live with this shit the rest of my life. But it's, it's all good. And like, at least I ain't dying first, because then she'd have to sit there and think about it. Like, if, like, I don't care how badly my mom taught me, I do not want her to live in this life without me. There's nothing more horrible than, like, being a grieving mother. I'll say that right now. I'll even tell you if you deserve a better partner than me because I will fucking destroy you. See? And that and that's why I said she was my type. And which is why I stay away from her. Because that's my type. I, I can't be with people who want to fucking destroy me. She's dangerous as fuck. People like this are dangerous as fuck. I'll save you. Before I let me love you. Don't be like me. I, I don't even know what restaurants are out there right now. Someone told me another name. Sephora. And Alta. All I knew is that I thought she meant Alta Beauty because that's the only store I even fucking know within the past fucking five years. Sephora's been, in, like, popular in United States since, like, 2005, 2008 or some shit. Jeffree Star and shit. Don, whatever. And... I didn't even know that there was a Sephora store that was, like, fucking makeup and beauty. I don't even know what's out there anymore. It's how much I've been caged in here. What, the car? Or in the, or in the body? My personal business is mine to give. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And I thought I signed a paper in 2005 that was changing my son's last name. And I was probably unstable then, like, with my mental health. And I signed a paper, and I gave my fucking mom power of attorney. That's the closest fucking contract to death row by law. Ma'am, you could just make a whole new power of attorney contract with a lawyer and someone else, and then it'll nullify and void the one you made with your mom. Like, it's 2024. You can make a new power of attorney. You just need to get a lawyer. And someone willing to be your power attorney. Like, you can... It, it's it's like a will. You know, you, yeah, there's this will right here that was written like 20 years ago. But you updated and got a whole new lawyer. Got it certified, signed by the state. And the, at the little notification weird embedded shit that, that they put on the paper to let you know it's got the seal of the fucking state on it. You can do that. You can just go make a whole new, uh, like, pow power of attorney at a will. Without having to tell anybody. And then have, give, have your lawyer keep it. And present it whenever anybody else tries to present another will and be like, well, no, this is the more updated version. This is the will that they actually made. Yeah, it, like, you're talking about something that happened, like, almost 20 years ago. Wait, what, what did I... Oh. I basically did sell my soul to the devil and she fucking thinks she owns it and she treats me like shit. 
So are you under conservatorship? Throw any first stone to cast anything. People own me. And think that these people are good, but behind closed doors. I hope the truth gets exposed. I send everybody else my love and light, and I hope you don't do what I did. I hope you don't stop having the most fun in the bedroom with whoever you love. I hope you don't stop having friends and partying. I hope you don't put yourself completely last or not at all. That's a cancer place. Now I have social anxiety so bad. <laughs> that your light won't stay <laughs> on? Goddamn. Damn. can't even get out of this or break this toxic fucking cycle pattern curse family drama i've been raised so wrong they've been putting me in therapy since seven mm -hmm. back then even when you were 12 in the 80s or 90s you were being put away in psych wards because or in rehabs because you were smoking the flower the mary jane yeah and that was the gateway drug, so you were a drug addict, so you got put away. Yeah. In rehabs for months. And then other things happened, like if you made out with a girl back then, gay was so frowned upon, they put you in therapy and made you convinced Wasn't that there was that something Wasn't that the plot of Girl Interrupted? But now everything's legal. I have a lot of fixing to fucking do, thanks to this fucked up family of mine. I mean, you need to get a new power of attorney or nullify that I shit. I can get out of whatever situation you're in. We're not trapped we just think we are. And that was Cosmic Mermaid Tarot. Those are just the ones that I saw. Because she interested the fuck out of me right now. Let me go to her shit. Now she's still doing uploads, which is good. I'm actually happy for her. She also put this up for my thank you so much for whatever. And her views are boosting up. Well, they did for a minute. They'll just keep going, like. They'll keep going, I'm sure. She's not going to be sitting here without viewership or whatever. I'm not going to do anything that's horrible to her. But she, she's definitely got something, right? And mind you, she does... I'm not sure what that was. That's when she was wearing do-rags and shit. But, like, you can kind of see... Um, she definitely comes from somewhere. This is where she had, like, some lesbian-y shit going on with her. And mind you, as you can see, she says she's done terror for three years. But she's only had a year up. Now... Y'all, do I think that she's a terrible person? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. She's not. Um, do I feel like she's deserving of the whatever it is that she says she's going through but really not talking about it? I don't know. That's between her and whatever God she believes in. And whatever it is she's doing, whatever it is she decided to do and what she's going to do forward. Do I think she deserves to be judged? No. There are people out there who are much better at causing their own misery than any fucking practitioner or any person in their lives. And it's not because, like, you know, um, they do the wrong things. It's because of choices. And in this case, this is somebody who I happen to find who I now realize um, there are people out there who do make terrible choices, um, but they are able to still come on and inspire people to do something with themselves. I don't know if they'll, like, if she says not to be like her, which is like, it's impossible. She's a Capricorn. Um, but I will say in the sense of humanity wise, um, it's very noble of her to go out of her way to share what it is that she actually goes through. Because I definitely am not. But she got that cancer rising, so she's capable of actually expressing herself, right? But I think it's rather noble that she's able to come out and say all this shit in order to let people feel as though they are not alone. That's a very endearing thing and very empathetic. Gathering all the people suffering together and just being like, yeah, we're not alone. We could party and be sad together. Not really. Um, do I think she'll get out of her situation? No comment. What I will say, though, she got another, like, two years. Two years. 
to figure out what the fuck she's going to do after this shit. Because that's when stuff will start getting on the ball. But yeah, girl, you got another two years. You got another two years. Make a plan. Figure out what the fuck you're going to do. And I'll check in on you when it comes in. But until then, you take care of yourself. Everybody else, you too. Be safe. Stay suspicious. Remember. And no matter what happens. No matter what you do. What you've gone through. Or anything like that. Whether it's by your choice. Someone else's choice. Volitions. Mistakes. Actual setups. It doesn't really matter. You can come back from anything. You just got to be honest about it. All the way honesty helps. But a little bit's a good start. 